been running Sin City, I'm with a demon And I got the scope on me, they see me scheming Kill for the money, yo, they got me feeling Booted with the Sprite in my cup, yeah, I'm leaning Walk around in Sin City Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl again, Mish And I want to welcome all of you, all 118 of you to the channel And I know you guys have been waiting for a long time I actually posted my first video um, not too long ago about how to make this delicious Creole spice or Haitian earpiece, okay? So I know you're like, girl, you made this video. I see you make it, but how to use it? Well, you're in luck today. I just came from work and I'm gonna prepare dinner for my family. And we are, we are gonna make um, some chicken wings and I'm gonna show you how I prepare it and how I use the seasoning with this dish, okay? All right. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, also share, you know, the channel with your friends and family. Don't be stingy. Share the channel. You know, I got some good stuff coming up. Bear with me. I am very busy. I work full time and I'm also trying to share, you know, a little bit of cooking skills. Well, I think I have a lot of cooking skills, but I just want to share my little knowledge that I have with you. Um, from the kitchen from my home to you okay so if you try any of the recipes i got coming up comment or if you want to see something also comment and let me know all right guys but again subscribe share click on the notification bell so when i post a video you will know when i upload okay guys support your girl i was saying before i got some chicken wings here and i had them um sitting in some vinegar um, lime juice and also I like, cut some limes in there with some salt. I had it soak for about 30 minutes or so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm going to get this done. Okay guys um, So I have my cutting board here. The first thing I do is now Everybody's different. You can cut this part out and cut the ends out um, It's all up to you. But today I will be doing this. I will be taking the cutting the ends out because no, none of us here really like it like that unless I'm doing fried chicken wings or hot wings or whatever for the kids. Okay? So this is what I do. You cut. And as you cut, you just put it right back in that bowl with that same vinegar, water, and salt, and lime juice. Okay? Because we're going to use that once we're done to wash our um, chicken off. Okay? This is what we're going to keep doing. And I'm just gonna make some like baked chicken wings today. And I'm gonna make some rice, you know, some pigeon peas and rice and corn. Yeah. All right. And if you tr if you like the end product and you like it and you like how I do it and you try it, you know, let me know how it turned out and let me know what you wanna see in the channel. And it's easy to cut. You just find like the middle piece right here and then get your knife and cut all the way down. It will go straight through. See, easy. But your knife gotta be sharp though. You can't have a dull knife because that's gonna be hectic. Or a little bit harder. Okay, I'll show you one more time. So you basically go right here. Go to the middle and you see the bone right there and you can just cut right there. Easy. Cut it, 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 cut it. Okay, so now guys, I'm I'm done cutting all the pieces of the chicken wings I don't want in there. And I'm just going through the washing process where I'm using my line pieces and just washing the chicken. And yeah, I do have some ribs right here that are defrost. I'm gonna actually get them seasoned. This will be like something for later on the week. Probably put them in the oven, some barbecue ribs or something. Yeah, that's gonna get seasoned and put in the fridge. It will be really well marinated. Oh, we don't want this. Um, so when I'm ready to use it, we don't want this week. Or the weekend. Yeah, so once you do this part right here, um, you just drain that water. We don't need that water. And at this point, you don't even, you don't need the limes anymore. Okay? And also, 
growing up, this is how my mom does it for any type of meat that she's cooking in the kitchen, all right? And we do have some hot water boiling on the stove because this is a process. We boil some hot water in a pot and then we put it on top of our chicken or meat, whatever type of meat it is that we're cooking with. And we wash our meat with hot water. Okay. And probably let it sit there for a few minutes. Just a few minutes, not too long. All right. After I had applied the hot water, I actually drained that hot water and I added some um, regular, you know, warm water just so I'll be able to touch it with my hands because the water is really hot. All right, so when you do that hot water process, whatever little feathers, you know how these chickens come with little feathers because they're not thoroughly clean when you pick them up from the store? You know, the hot water should be give, um, give you some ways of you know going over the chicken make sure it doesn't have like extra feathers or extra little things you don't want okay so now that we've done this we're just gonna take it out the water put it in a different container because at this point we're gonna get it ready to be seasoned before we either fry it or like i'm gonna be doing tonight i'm gonna bake it okay this is how i do all the meats that i buy from the store i cannot skip that hot water process if I skip that hot water, I mean, I never have. I don't know how people do without going through the hot water process. But for me, I feel like it's not clean if I don't put it through this process. That's why I'm kind of picky. You see all these things? You just go through them. Because sometimes you go to the store, you buy chicken wings, and then, you know, they got hair all up in there. Like, excuse me? That's how you know they didn't wash it. Okay. So... This is what I'm doing right now, so give me a few minutes and then we'll see when I add the seasoning to this, okay? All right, guys, so our chicken is washed, nicely washed. So now I'm going to add the seasoning that I made, you know, my very first video. Um, it's a reason why I did this, because I wanted you to see, this is my process. I get my seasoning ready, and then when I'm ready to cook, it's ready for me. And now I'm cooking tonight. So I'm gonna apply it to my chicken wings that I'm cooking tonight. So I just added two spoons of this. You don't need a lot because this is like, it have everything basically you need, all right? But since I want like that extra taste, I want, you know, make sure it's nicely tasty when I put it in the oven, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I do add on top of that Creole seasoning, okay guys? All right, so I'm gonna add some complete seasoning. Not too much. Okay. And I love turmeric because it gives it a nice color and it's also good for you. It's healthy for you. All right. My father-in-law, my husband, dad actually put me on this turmeric um, seasoning. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Now, remember this seasoning is already a little bit spicy. If you know that this is like when you make it, if you make it spicy, you don't need to add the black pepper, but we like our food hot. Well, some of us like our food hot in here. But yeah, add a little black pepper. And I'm gonna add some adobo, not too much. Adobo right here. All right. And then lastly, A little bit of paprika. I know you guys like, oh my God, this girl is crazy. These things are hot. You know, like I said, this is for me. You can, you don't have to use all the stuff I use. This is how I, this is how we like it. Well, I like it too. But um, again, you can skip the spicy stuff if you cannot handle it, okay? And then what I do, I'll add like a little bit of, probably like a capful of this olive oil right here. This is going in the oven. And then, just to add some acid, I'm gonna add some oil. I'm going to add some citron. Just a little bit. Okay, and that's that. So now we're gonna go marinate. My hands are already clean. I've been washing and all this stuff. So there we go. Okay, we just marinate it all through it. Make sure all your chicken is nicely coated. Nicely coated. Look how pretty this looks. It smells so good too, guys. So imagine when, while it's in the oven, 
Oh, imagine when it's done. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look, just look at that. Okay, and here we go. All right. So far, if you like this process, guys, um, let me know. Please try it if you have it. Or if you have your Haitian friend, let them make that a piece for your girl. You know, try it, let me know. Okay, comment down below. All right, so guess what? This is it. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. And it's going to be really, really good. Very delicious. All right, so that's that. All right, guys, so this is, I um, already added everything I needed to. I'm just going to go ahead and lay it on my pan right here. And currently, I have, this, I have my oven preheating at 350. So I can um, go ahead and put this in the oven, okay? Okay, so you just, you just actually just lay it in the, in the pan, like, however you want. It doesn't matter. It don't have to be pretty. But just make sure they have, like, some space, space excuse me, between them. When you lay them on the pan. Almost there. There we go. So, so we're just gonna take all that extra seasoning and just kind of lay it in some of them here. And you don't need to add anything. Once that oven is um, preheat to that 350, just go on ahead and put it in your oven. Okay, guys. All right, so when it's done baking, I will come back and show you the final look, okay? The finished touches. All right, guys, so my oven is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this right in the oven. And when it's done, I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like done, okay? And currently, I'm gonna be making some, like I said before, some rice and some corn for dinner. So I will show you the finished look. But today you won't get to see how the, I make the rice. That'll be another video, you guys. I came from work and I'm extremely tired. And you know how it is, you guys. Let's have a family. You just want to get in the kitchen, get the food done. But I really wanted you guys to see how I use the seasoning after I uploaded the video. Okay, guys? Again, don't forget to support your girl. All right? So here we go. guys um here's the chicken it's done it's out the oven and i got the desired um color i was looking for the nicely brown color um if you guys tried this recipe let me know in the comment below in the comments below how it turned out for you and if you need help or whatever message me and i will you know walk you through it um however i do want to thank you thank everybody for you know watching um the this tutorial very short tutorial and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also click on the notification bell when i do upload a video so you guys will know thank you for spending this time with me today and you guys have a good night bye all right hey you guys um i'm back just to show you um, what we made, what I made for dinner for my family tonight, as promised. Um, I know I didn't show you guys the way I made the rice. That'll be for another video. Again, like I said, I came from work and I'm just trying to get in and out the kitchen because I do have some other things to do here. Um, so yeah, I did some corn. I have some rice and of course the chicken wings that I showed you guys how I prepped and um, baked in the oven. So this is the final look. This is dinner tonight. I'm sure the kids are going to enjoy it. All right. All right. So you guys, let me know what you think. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Remember in the beginning of it, in the video where you saw I was pre prepping the um, chicken wings and you saw I had my ribs in the sink because I wanted it to get it um, cleaned just so I can have it for later on this week. Well, this is it. I really wanted to show you guys how it, it looked. This is it. So I'm just um, going to cover it up, put it in the fridge so it could be nicely marinated for the um, for later on. Um, probably this Saturday I will do this. So it's pretty much ready. You can throw it on the grill, throw it in the oven, add some barbecue sauce, and you're done. All right? 
All right, so yeah, this is um, dinner. This is the chicken wings um, we prepped earlier together. Um, it's done. I, had, I cooked some rice, I have some corn, the chicken, and I made some type of sauce so you can have with the rice or you can put in the chicken or drizzle it over your corn while you eat. Um, again, if you do guys, if you guys do try this recipe, comment down below. Let me know how it turned out. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, thank you for spending this time with me today. And again, you guys have a good night. Bye.